Hi, this is Anthony from carplaylife.com and in this video I'll be looking at this Bluetooth 5.3 FM transmitter from Joyroom. When you own a vehicle with a stereo that doesn't have Apple CarPlay or Bluetooth audio streaming, it's gadgets like this that enable you the ability to transmit music and media from an iPhone, an Android or a connected USB drive to your car stereo over wireless FM transmission or a wired aux cable input. In the box you get a paper instruction manual, there is the FM transmitter itself and there is a long 80 centimeter aux cable. This FM transmitter uses the common form factor that we regularly see available. It has a car socket stem that inserts into a 12 volt socket to power it. And on top there are a wealth of ports, lights, dials and other gizmos that you can use to power devices, navigate and operate your Bluetooth connected device directly from the transmitter itself to playing back alternative media from a connected USB stick. On the top face of the transmitter there are dual microphones, there's a large LED display to view the car battery level and FM frequency its Bluetooth connection and base boost status. There are three USB ports. There is one 30 watt USB-C with power delivery and one 18 watt USB-A port with quick charge 3.0 support. The third USB-A port is only for connecting to and playing back media from a connected USB drive. And on this side, we've got a base boost button to enhance low level frequencies over the transmission. And there is a multifunctional dial to alter the transmitted volume or alter the FM frequency. Pressing this inwards will pause, accept, hang up and reject calls from your Bluetooth phone. Around the sides of the transmitter, there is a 3.5 aux output port and a button to toggle the colorful light bar that surrounds the transmitter. Whilst on the right hand edge of the transmitter, there are next and previous buttons to navigate tracks playing back on either the USB drive or the media player that's running on your connected Bluetooth device. In the car, I inserted the transmitter into my 12 volt socket, which then lit up its color outer light bar. Once it received power and its LED display first displays my battery's current voltage, followed by the current FM frequency that it's transmitting. To adjust this frequency, you hold down the volume dial until the frequency blinks on the display and then you rotate the dial to adjust its frequency. Then press the dial inwards again to store it. You don't really need to look for a less busy FM frequency. I tested this transmitter with a solid occupied station frequency and it did a perfect job at replacing the FM station with my Bluetooth music. With both transmitter and my FM radio dialed into the same frequency, I then paired my iPhone to the transmitter's available Bluetooth profile. Once connected, the BT icon on the LED display tells me that I'm connected to it and a small chime rings over the car speakers too. I then fired up the Spotify app on my iPhone and once I started the music, I was soon hearing the music play through my car speakers, clearly and without any distortion or any noticeable interference. Thanks to Bluetooth 5.3, the latency on this FM transmitter is very good when streaming from a supported device. I tried playing a video from YouTube and its audio was in perfect sync. And this was from my iPhone 13 Pro, which is still running Bluetooth 5.0. The newer iPhone 14s will support the same Bluetooth 5.3, so any latency should be even better. Changing the volume on the transmitter's output is easily done on the small volume dial. Pressing the bass button adds an obvious boost in bass frequencies of the audio coming through the speakers. And for my setup, it was a little bit too much for my car stereo, which has its own bass boost and equalizer presets. But for a stereo that lacks some bass in its audio, this might improve it a little. Any distortion can be reduced by simply turning down the volume on the transmitter itself. Pressing the next and back buttons was responsive in navigating tracks that are playing back on my device. But being right hand driver and sitting on the right hand side of the transmitter, I found the buttons to act the opposite of what I was expecting them to do when pressing them. Positioning them at the top edge of the transmitter might have been better for both left and right hand drivers. However, I found just rotating the transmitter clockwise, 90 degrees would position these buttons this way. So this issue can be easily overcome. Switching to the aux port, the sound quality was much clearer 
and it had a more pronounced stereo effect. The length of the cable can be a little bit too generous for most cars with an aux port that's being so close to the 12 volt socket. So for a neater interior you might want to replace the bundled cable with a much shorter one. If you have an aux port, I found the best sound was through the aux cable input but the FM quality is still very acceptable for most people. What's connected to the transmitter through my iPhone, it seemed to only use its own microphone than using these dual microphones on the transmitter when sending audio messages. Whilst calling, did use these microphones instead. However, using Apple's voice memo app, I was able to use these dual microphones. So here's a test. Hi, this is Anthony from carplaylife.com and this is an audio test using the voice memo app rather than the text messaging app. And this is an audio test speaking at the windscreen so I can give you a more real life test of the microphones being down by my left hand side waist and how well the dual microphones work and then I'll speak now down to the actual dongle that's in the 12 volt socket and this is an audio test. As you can hear the microphone quality sounded fairly decent and clear. There was a little hiss in the background when compared to the iPhone's own microphone but it recorded my voice just as clearly when I was facing the windscreen as well as I was talking directly down to the microphone by my side. Your own use will vary though depending on where your 12 volt port is in your car. However, I found the dual microphones didn't record in stereo, but it did a decent job at normalizing the recording to capture wherever the transmitter was placed in your car interior. Plugging in a USB drive full of music and videos, the transmitter is meant to load its content and begin to play it back over your car speakers. The next and back buttons use this method of media playback as well to navigate it. However, unfortunately, I couldn't get this transmitter to work with my USB media. I tried having different music file formats, placing the music in two folders, as well as the root directory of the USB drive. I formatted with a Mac as well as PC yeah, I couldn't get the USB media to play back through the transmitter. The instruction manual didn't offer any further insight to get this working. So if I hear more about getting this working, I'll mention it in the comments below. This transmitter from Joyroom currently retails for $19.83 from Amazon US and €21.99 from Amazon DE. And you can check my links in the description down below to learn more about this transmitter and to buy yourself one. If you're looking to modernize your car stereo, and use it with your modern phone over Bluetooth. These transmitters are a great way to do this. The signal strength is very good on this one, cancelling out even the most strongest FM station signal with my own music. The FM quality was very acceptable to the majority of people, but if you can tell the difference between certain audio qualities, the AUX input is a much better method that improves the audio greatly. I like its looks, its LED display is clear and readable, and the bass boost is a nice addition, whilst the dual microphones did a decent job at recording. However, the navigation placement on the side and the USB functionality did let this transmitter down in my test. I did find it odd that my iPhone didn't use these microphones for sending audio messages. However, it did work with calling, whilst the Android, it didn't work with voice memo, but again, it did work with calling. If you'd like to have CarPlay though working on your old FM radio, you can check out this video here and I'll see you there. Thanks for watching to the end of this video. If you have, please leave me a thumbs up and let me know in the comments if you have any questions about this FM transmitter from Joyroom. And I'll see you on the next one. Cheers, bye.